So today we're doing a 40, uh, I do five cool. or eight five minute rounds, yeah, that's why I did get ready for my match. Uh, we got old guys, we're sparring partners, they all are going to give me two rounds. We got Randall Shookman, 2012, soon to be 2013 Golden Glove champ. We got Lil Johnny, he's 2012 Muay Thai champion. We got Professor Baca, black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and an amazing coach. And we got Kyle Uchiyama, our wrestling badass. Thank you guys all so much for coming. I appreciate it. Tune in a little bit. See you guys later. Eight rounds. How you feeling? Nervous. <laughs> and Baca on the other end. <laughs> Good. Take your time. Watch out, bottom hand. Nice job, Baca. There you go. That's what happens every time. Then you go to butterfly and look to get your feet back on the hips. Now that one that's stuck in there, look to get it back on the hips. Use Relax. the one that's free to push on his hip. Relax and breathe, yeah. ah! uh, no, I want to see you guys stand again. It was looking good. Go, okay. fight! <laughs> yeah, the referee cheated. <laughs> For his students. <laughs> nice. Great job, Lacey. Three the crowd's cheering. Lacey! Lacey! And I meant to say this is Lacey's last round of eight five minute rounds. And she's still looking fresh. Two minutes. Oh! Two so we're here today getting our missions done at Air Care Colorado. The not fun part of life. Got to do your responsibilities. Our plates are kind of expired, so <laughs> had to get it done. Check back in on the rest of our errands later. We passed the missions. Off to get some plates. <laughs> well, first to Walmart and then to my sponsor. No, we're going to get plates first. No. Yes, we're in Golden. No, no. Oh, don't argue with me. I don't know how much money I'll have. What if I don't have enough? Well, then then you just go you. get it and then you don't you go to golden and then decide no this will be difficult so we're at walmart we just got done shopping what'd you get at walmart randall my um after fight food what is that cheetos flaming hot cheetos <laughs> cereal <laughs> yes we love crunch berries well but lacy doesn't get to eat any of course not well Hopefully there'll be some left What'd for me. What'd you get, Lacey? Protein bars. Ah. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Well, Lacey's out um, in the main room. She's running a private right now with Annette. Um, it's always cool to see both my students learn and definitely see my other student teach. Um, Lacey's not only a great wife who I love the most in the world, and I've actually been with Lacey since she was 12 years old. I've been training her since she was 15. She's been going to my wrestling since I was like in ninth grade or eighth grade. Like, she's been part of my life, seriously, since, like I said, since she was 12 years old. But here she is out there training a private, so it's really cool. Is it fun when Lacey trains you too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told him it's cool to see my students teach each other and just see how much you guys all grew. Have you come far, huh? Oh, definitely. Some boxing. And guess what Coach Ryan was doing? He's playing video games. Ha ha ha. No, I get a recovery day today because I fought this week and I never take recovery days, so I decided to take one.
Yeah. Oh, it's like, yeah, right. So it's Lacey and Kyle working self D. One part of jujitsu that our professor makes us do to get rank. I mean, it doesn't always apply to our MMA fights, but it, it actually is truthfully helped me um, on the street. I almost got beat up by four guys and got away from them not too long ago. Me, Lacey, and Mom actually sub subdued the four guys, truthfully. Um, Yes, that's Kyle and Lacey. She nice. It's, it's, it's cool yeah. stuff, though. It's fun. It's real fun. No room, yeah, it's, it's a trip versus a hip hop. Mm. This is Lacey's Hell Week. We're just kind of doing a morning fun session with Kyle. Get a good energy, good mood for before we have to roll and before we have to do the other jujitsu. Lacey's looking great for her fight. Nice and light. These are my two favorite students, literally. Kyle lived with me for two years. Yeah. It's a fun two years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is my family for sure. Ground and Pound TV Germany. I just want to send a shout out to uh, Elias from Ground and Pound TV Germany. He's uh, always helping us out with these video blogs, but he's uh, Sweep the Leg 1983 on uh, Twitter. So here you go. This is Randall's favorite team skeleton coach. Sweep the Leg, baby. Tell me you were scared of Karate Kid or were you more scared of Johnny? Sweep the leg. <laughs> it's kind of nice free rolling. It was a nice attempt. Kyle was a wrestler in Texas and came to college here in Colorado. That's how we met him. He was also a college baseball player. He's really good at baseball actually so. You know, having a college athlete on the team is a bonus. And he's not a bad wrestler either. The shop at the fitness center. Getting some rounds in just for fun. Shoot from closer. Johnny and Kyle. Future stars of MMA. Kickboxing and boxing. Yeah. I love my team. They all made it worth my while. They got my work in for me. Thank you guys. Got the guys rolling a little bit. Got some good matches going on. Those are my boys. Team Goonies, baby. Goonies never say die. Hey guys, it's fight week. Um, feeling pretty good, real close to weight. Um, just gonna show you a little bit of what I'm eating for lunch today. Just got done making my lunch salad. It's got some romaine, some celery, carrots, onions, tomatoes, broccoli, portobello mushrooms. Put a little red wine vinegar on it. Um, I kind of cut out my fat so I didn't put any oil on it today. Um, the week away ends. Uh, a little salt and pepper. Give me my sodium intake. Make it taste a little bit good. I'm definitely tired of salads. Can't wait for weigh ins. Get to eat a little bit of normal food. And uh, just wanted to show you kind of what we're eating. Got my gallon of water. Gotta drink that a day. As you can see, I haven't been doing very good today. I've barely even touched it. So, water is starting to taste pretty boring. But, feeling good. Ready to go. Can't wait for weigh ins. Two more days. I want to show you my mom's dogs. This is Tamara, the Weimaraner. And this is Jonesy Blue. They're sitting there begging me for my salad, and I'm laughing, thinking how much they're not going to really want it. <laughs> they love to steal food. They're infamous for it. But, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool dogs. My mom rescued them from a women's correctional facility, and they've uh, been a great addition to our little family. So it's Jonesy Blue and Tamara. I wanted to film my little puppies. That's Kiva, the pit bull. She likes to take my spot in the bed. She thinks she's a human. And that's our little dachshund hound. That's Fenway. He's our little baby. He's kind of the odd couple. He's uh, lived with a lot of pit bulls in his life, so he's pretty tough. We uh, got him from one of our family members. He's a pretty cool dude. He's learned to be a really good dog. But yeah, they think they're people, so they just kind of hijack our bed. But they're a big part of our life, so I wanted to introduce you to them. So this is my mom, Peggy. 
She uh, always cooks us wonderful meals and spoils us rotten by letting us live here. Cause she supports our dream so much. So mom, how, how much of a joy have I been for this weight cut? Uh, not much, sorry, <laughs> I hate it when you cut weight. Do you love that we uh, compete, just hate that we have to cut weight? Yes, I love that you compete. You guys are very, very good and the discipline is unbelievable, what you have. Are you excited that Wands is only two days away? Yes, I am. I'm very <laughs> excited. What are we going to go do after the fight? We're going to go up to Black Hawk and win a million dollars. That's where our casinos are. Monday we are going to go bowling. Yay, and we're going to eat lots of food, huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> I think Lisa can attest to that. Do you think that I just devour the most food of any on my size you know? Uh, yes, I would say you were the champ. <laughs> that you are number one at. Well, thanks, Mom, and we love you for all you do. Thank you. Love you guys, too. And you're watching Ground and Pound TV Germany. So we're getting very close to Lacey's fight. It's getting real near. People ask, been asking a lot, um, how does Lacey make the weight? They're like, can you give me a secret? Can you give me a hint? Well, I'll give you one hint right here. Have you seen the movie Vision Quest? Do you remember Loudon? He jump roped every day and road worked every day in a sauna suit? Well, that's the same for Lacey. It's hard work to make the cut. That's literally what she does. She watches her diet to a proper amount of calories every day, every night. It's a jump rope with a sauna suit and a run. So let's take a look in on her. I told everybody one of your secrets since they've been asking. Do you literally do this every single night? No questions asked. Yep, 30 minutes a night. 30, and then that's not a lie. I vouch. For and what? I put the dryer on and I have a space heater on, me too. For With my sauna suit and all my sweats. For about four weeks, probably? Uh, yeah, it's probably been about four weeks living it every night. And do you usually have to road work every single night or day? Yeah, I always have to. I have to wake up and do my run in my sauna suit. So that's the secret to the cut. One secret we just gave you. The other one is watch Vision Quest. <laughs> so uh, one other little funny insight to this. Our boxing coach <clears throat> our boxing coach and his girlfriend at House of Pain, last time we were there, Lacey jump roped for like an hour straight. Serious. And the lady goes, does she ever quit jump roping? So I thought it would just be kind of funny because here she is still going. Jump, jump, jump. Ooh. Uh. Hey, so Lacey's done jump roping for the night. She's like on weight pretty much for her fight. But she gave me the go to go see it, after the hard work how she actually looks. So let's go see her. It's pretty funny. So now, how do you feel? Mm, I feel like I'm gonna die. I'm gonna puke everywhere. <laughs> One more day. Hey, I try to ask her for help all the time, I swear, and she just tells me to leave her alone. Dying. Do you want a cold rag or anything? No, I want to die. <laughs> I bet you want food, though. Oh. <laughs> I don't even right now. I want to puke. Ugh. I love you. Love you. I fucking hate this. Are you a pit bull? How, how? <laughs> Love you. Love you. So we're at Lacey's chiropractor. It's her turn. I'm nervous. <laughs> and what were we discussing? About Golden Gloves and Randall's going to be boxing soon, but uh, the AIBA is trying to initiate new rules for USA Boxing, and they want to take away headgear for amateurs. At the national level. Yeah, and take away the point scoring system, and it was a 10-point must system, and I just think that's silly since you're not getting paid, but... Randall says that he likes it. It's like the old Sugar Ray days. I think it's fine. I don't know. I think that that doesn't make Lacey sense. said no headgear is dangerous. They say that there's less concussions without headgear, so I don't know. Randall does MMA without headgear, but I don't know. Oh, I'm nervous. I've never done this before. This is one of my students. I actually train her, so 
she offered to do it for me and then Lacey was thinking it was so funny so she said Lacey gets a chance to get tortured. We love Dr. J. Round two for Lacey now. That's right. Totally. Love Dr. J. Yeah, it's because I rock. Ah. Right, you do rock. <laughs> I told him I train you too at title. Oh yeah? Yeah, is the torture comparable to the torture you give me here? I, pr I think it's pretty even. Ah. <laughs> no, actually I felt amazing. I cannot describe how wonderful oh, I yeah. still feel. Good. My arm hasn't gone numb one time Isn't sleeping yet. Nope. Doesn't that already feel kind of nice though, Lacey? Mm -hmm. You feel hot. Like if I push on the side, it's like it's stuck. Yeah. And if I push on the side, it has more movement. Uh huh. So we want movement. We don't want sticky, stuck. <laughs> Once you get to this collarbone or the shoulder, tell me when you do. I wanna, I wanna film it. <laughs> so I'm just hitting the trigger points okay. to help this muscle <laughs> relax a little bit. <laughs> Does Lacey a little tense all the time? Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> and part of this is from, so, you'll have, this is stuck. Okay. This has more movement. Okay. But when this gets stuck, it puts pressure right in here. And that's where I get a lot of pain. Uh -huh. What will cause it to get stuck? Well, a lot of it can just be like when you're, you're fighting and those hips are moving, sometimes that sacrum, which is a triangle bone, gets kind of stuck up on that hip bone. And so we have to adjust it to make it straight. So that Wicked. We yeah. He said after you adjusted him that, that he could feel it when he was doing his jiu-jitsu that it helped. Uh -huh. I could like control yeah. my hips so much better. Right. I'm serious. So, and then sometimes it can be just like the way that we sleep. Because if we sleep on our side all the time, yeah. then that's a repetitive trauma to our spine. Because it's not in a good position for us. So and you always sleep on the one side. Yeah. <laughs> then that can make that spine go out of alignment and then we get stuck that way too. And it's literally like you're laying on your side, but right. standing. But standing. And then the whole body tries to compensate. So then we get pain here and then we're gonna get stuff up over yep, here. Exactly. And then we're gonna get stuff up over here. Because the body wants to try and be straight. So it Unreal, dude. So good. <laughs> And with this one, you had a little first rib okay. action going on, which is normal because this is all was pulling. Oh, okay. So, let's get this other side back on. I feel great. I feel like totally different. It wasn't, it wasn't scary at all. I have no yeah. I didn't need to be nervous. It was awesome. No, yeah. so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Awesome. awesome. Got my new banner in today too. It's pretty awesome. It's got all the sponsors on it. The only one that we didn't see on the previous thing is uh, Dr. Jessica Reichert. She's our chiropractor. She's amazing. Schedule an appointment with her if you're in the Centennial or Colorado area period. She's a miracle worker. Uh, I finally just got adjusted for the first time and I swear it's going to change my whole game. So this is it. And by the way, I spell my name, the lady, L-A-D-I-E, just for future reference. And just so everyone knows, God does not condemn. You can always call on him. Can't wait to see you guys at the fight. I'm stoked. I'm ready. So I just met my sponsor, Knock Him Out, Jason. He's a great guy. He uh, made my walkout shirts for me, and they're all sublimated with all my sponsors on them. The lady, Lacey Shookman, and Luke 1411. He who humbles himself shall be exalted. He who exalts himself shall be humbled. And then we got on the back, we got the rest of the sponsors too. Looks really sick. He did a really good job. I'm loving it. We got Knock Em Out at the top, Blue Drink Studios, Clinch Custom Mouth Guards, Kobe on Japanese Cuisine and Sushi Bar, Hells and Gracie Jiu Jitsu Academy, Littleton, Botanico, got the shop. And then on the front, we have Altitude Organic Medicine, 303 Inc., Tussle Fight Gear, and Tan Time. We have, uh, these are really awesome. These Slade from Tussle made sublimated uh, outfits now. And uh, this was his, and Knock Em Out did all my 
sponsor uh, logos on it and he did a beautiful job on it. I love it. And then this is the back of them. They look so cool. We got the knock them out on the one side and we got all the others on the other side. And then it's got a matching sports bra that goes with it too. So I'm really stoked. I think all of this looks so awesome. So thanks Knock Em Out and thanks Slade from Tussle. And you guys are awesome. I love my new gear. So in honor of all my hard work before my uh, weigh-ins tomorrow, I decided we're going to watch Vision Quest because I'm kind of like Loudon. So he motivated me. I got to go beat my shoot. So we'll tune in tomorrow for my weight cut and we'll uh, see how weigh-ins goes. I'm ready to do business. That's me. <laughs> yep. That looks just like me. Gray sweatsuit and all. Sweaty. Jump roping. Love this movie. So motivating. Yep, he went from 190 to 165. I went from 135 to 105. Let's do business.